Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Tech. At number 5, Sundar Pichai defends Google before Congress. Questioning Google CEO Sundar Pichai for the first time, House lawmakers could have hammered on any number of controversies. The Pichai hearing was dominated by allegations of bias against conservatives. Despite major scrutiny from the press and Google employees, there were also only a handful of questions about Google's plan to build a censored search engine in China. While some lawmakers brought up the company's plan, codenamed Project Dragonfly, responding to questions about the project, Pichai said, It's our duty to explore, providing wider access to information and would not rule out launching a censored search engine in the future. We will be very thoughtful and we will engage widely as we make progress, he said. At number 4, the Galaxy S10 could be Samsung's last flagship with a headphone jack. The good news for anyone planning on using all the headphones with Galaxy S10 is that most indications point to Samsung keeping the jack for that device. Bloomberg did report in October that Samsung has been toying with prototype phones that will meet the 3.5mm port but since then, there have been several unconfirmed leaks that suggest it will be included. The above Galaxy S10 Plus render comes for example. It shows that the Samsung is planning to adopt the Galaxy A9's quad rear camera array but also makes it clear that the headphone jack is intact. Meanwhile, various cases leaks out of China seem to corroborate aspects of the Galaxy S10's design. At number 3, Skull Candy launches its first truly wireless earbuds. Skull Candy announced the launch of its first truly wireless earbuds today called the Skull Candy Push. The earbuds feature a large button on the side which can be used to answer calls, switch audio tracks and control the volume in addition to activating your phone's voice assistant to perform tasks like sending a message or setting reminders by triple tapping that button. The Skull Candy Push offers 6 hours of listening time and placing the earbuds into a fully charged case can offer an additional 6 hours. That's slightly longer than the Apple's AirPods 5 hours of listening time. But the AirPods charging case boosts multiple charges that add up to 24 hours. At number 2, here is how to set up eSIM on the Apple iPhone XR and XS. If you need to go abroad for example, or need separate businesses and personal numbers, 2 is definitely better than 1. First, you will need to purchase a new eSIM account. Once you've purchased the eSIM plan, you'll want to set up your phone for dual SIMs. Go to Settings, Cellular and add Cellular Plan. Scan the QR code from your carrier with your phone. Then look at the bottom of your screen and tap Enter Details manually. Select Add Cellular Plan and you'll see both your previous plan and new plan. You can label them as you wish, personal or work for example. Hit Done and on the next screen, Choose which line you want to be your default. At number 1, Google Lens can now be accessed directly from the search app on iOS. Google Lens, the search giant's visual identification tool, can now be accessed directly from within the Google app on iOS. To do so, simply hit the lens icon to the left of the microphone in the app search bar, at which point your phone's camera will open and Google will attempt to identify whatever you point it at, whether it's a plant, an animal, or just some text you want to copy and paste elsewhere. Previously, this image recognition service could only be accessed via Google Photos on iOS, which had the annoying side effect of forcing you to take a photo before Lens could perform its image recognition magic. And that's it on NX Daily Top 5 Tech. For this and more, follow us on all social media platforms at Nigeria Extreme, and you can visit our website at www.nigeria.tv.